Welcome, Cancer. I'm Rosa, and this is Purple Lunar Rose Tarot. These are going to be your guidance cards for the week of October 11th through October 17th of 2021. Welcome back, Cancer, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you'd like to join our tribe, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, Cancer, so last week we were dealing with Pluto going direct, which made many of us deal with some serious transformations in our life. On October 12th of this week, Saturn will be moving out of retrograde, and this means you will find yourself being more cautious with your time, more purposeful. Next week, we're going to talk about Jupiter going direct. Jupiter is about expansion, luck, and optimism. So Cancer, if you've been working on some massive transformations in your life, better days are definitely ahead. All right, Cancer, we're going to use the Energy Oracle to see what energies you're going to be working with this week. So we have All Tied Up, number 23, coming out. Throat chakra was next, so this might have something to do with speaking your truth. So Cancer, someone is all tied up, so that tells me that they're busy working, spending all their free time staying busy in order not to deal with a certain situation. Alright Cancer, we're going to use Queen of the Moon Oracle to clarify. We have Have Faith. Attraction and self-reflection. I'm going to take all of them. Definitely having to have faith on your journey. Attraction, Superman tells me you're trying to manifest or create something. And self-reflection with mirror coming out. I could definitely could be talking to someone on the twin journey. But I feel like I could also be talking to someone who's looking at how their own actions could have affected a situation. All right, Cancer, we're going to use the Heal Yourself reading cards for the main spread. Challenge or obstacle, we have Take Your Mask Off. Kind of goes with that all tied up card. Um, it's kind of like not wanting to deal with a situation, covering up, sweeping it under the rug. Lesson already learned that can help you with that challenge or obstacle. You have Inner Child. An outcome is how teachable are you? All right, Cancer, we're going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify. Take your mask off, challenge or obstacle. I definitely feel like you're just trying to sweep something under the rug. Uh, maybe not deal with a certain situation. And I just want to say the lesson learned is the inner child. Um, so the inner child to me is like someone's taking something too seriously. Outcome, how teachable are you? Spirit's definitely trying to teach you something. And I feel like it's going to have something to do um, with your twin journey, if you're on a twin flame journey. Or it's going to have something to do with like manifesting or creating your best life. We do have the Aries full blood moon coming next week. Um, so I do believe like that moon is very much going to have people following their purpose, following like their mission. Um, so how teachable are you coming out is pretty significant, Cancer. Take off your mask. We have Ace of Wands. It's something new. It's new inspiration. You're inspired to do this for a new reason. Two of Swords is about making a decision or being stuck, needing to make a decision. Um, I feel like with the Two of Swords, I always feel like stuck between a rock and a hard place. So I feel like I'm talking to someone who feels they have to keep this mask on for a particular reason or for a particular person. They're inspired. They want to, but for some reason they feel stuck and they can't. Inner Child, we have Page of Cups, Baby Steps. Um, pages are new. They're young. They're not at their fullest potential. Um, offer love. I feel like you just need to offer love to your inner child, Cancer. Um, your inner child could be screaming out, needing attention, um, needing you to put the focus back on them, especially if you're doing this all tied up where you're just trying to um, adult 24-7. Like, I'm just going to go to work all the time and I'm not going to deal with certain situations. Inner child, of course, could have something to do with abandonment and rejection. Death card, Scorpio. We did have Pluto go direct um, last week. And so lots of transformation. This is something you could have just recently learned. 
I do, of course, see Scorpio. How teachable are you? You have the Seven of Swords. Um, so you're learning something about trickery or deceit. And Five of Wands, challenges. On the bottom, you have Temperance, which is Sagittarius and Healing. So Cancer, I'm definitely feeling like you're learning um, kind of like how to spot things. How to see maybe toxic cycles. Um, something that you've done repeatedly. Like something you've had to deal with um, more than one occasion. All right, Cancer, next we're going to do Guidance. And this is going to be Queen of the Moon, Oracle, and Magical Times together. I do want to mention all the cards that we used in today's reading. I do have my Amazon affiliate link in the description box below. If you guys haven't checked out the dream journals, I have included the guided dream journal. Um, make sure to check those out in the description box also. I just want to say too, Five of Wands is about challenges, having new challenges. But Five of Wands is also about training. I'm almost getting like you went through some sort of situation with someone who was maybe lying or deceitful to you, um, tricking you in some way, and it was training you. Um, training you for what, you say? I know, but it's training you to be able to see these things and spot these things ahead of time. All right, Cancer, direct messages to you from Spirit about this situation. Cycles. We are all becoming. Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. Look at that. Self-reflection again. So definitely talking to someone on the twin journey. Definitely talking to someone who could be using the mirror in order to heal certain situations. Beauty. Beauty is about seeing the positives in all situations. Even the most difficult situations. Because that is when we're blessed the most. It's when we learn the most. Confidence. Be bold. Rise up and stand tall. Feel the fire in your soul. So definitely picking up that twin energy. All right, Cancer, we're going to end it with a Moonology Oracle. And this is going to help with your thoughts and emotions. I don't feel like it's necessarily a very emotional week. I do feel like you're very much in your thoughts and very much trying to manifest some sort of situation. Believe in the impossible. It's the blue moon. So apparently spirit's going to help you. <laughs> That's awesome. Conclusions are within reach. It's the full moon eclipse. We do have a full moon eclipse on the 20th, October 20th. Don't let pride get in your way. It's the full moon in Leo. And it's time to release negativity. It's the full moon in Scorpio. I did send some Scorpio energy down there. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this reading was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.